on the midline. Keep it round to one of the sides of the arc. And outside to the top. Looking for some opening. Need some moving over to 32. Go over, then over to 51. And to 31, then over to 10. Should dribble around the arc a little bit and pass it to 32. And over to 30. And try and drive a little bit, getting on the inside. 51 putting up. Ooh, Rally Wheezy almost with an over the back foul there. Officials will call it out on Culver. Klein will be checking it back in. Puts it over to Holt. Holt's going to cross the midline with it. it. Looks like Culver's going to be playing a full court press. Wheezy. Trying to get something moving with it. That foul should be on Culver, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, sorry, the official trying to figure out which fingers to hold up. The foul was on uh, Culver's number 32, her first team first. Klein trying to put up a swift jumper. Couldn't quite make its mark. It'll be a travel on the play on Culver's number Culver. 31. Holt getting it in to Klein to put it up for two. Just a bit short. Short, and that was out of on uh, Brandon Young's toes. Colver now with their possession of the ball. Going to try and get something moving. Taking it nice and easy, crossing over the midline. <clears throat> Number 30 passing it to 10. Over to 31. Going to find an opening back to 10 to 32. Over to 30. Keep it on the outside of the arc. And maybe try for a drive. She's open to put up for a two. Bit short on that. No good, and Caston with the rebound. Emily Holt bringing it back into Caston's court. Up to Dag. He's gonna send it over to Klein. Inside to Wheezy. Back to Dag, who's gonna take the two off the mark. Dag's going to regain control of the ball. Bring it back over the mid. Send it over to Holt. Then back to Dag, trying to find something moving. Holt looking for an opening. Back to Dag. And Culver's able to steal the ball just right out of Holt's fingers. Tried to go for the layup, missed the layup. Dag now coming back. The Comet side. Oh, no. oh, I thought she handed it off to Young. Nope, oh. under heavy coverage, and that's going to be out of bounds as Dag tries to get it over to Holt. I can't imagine that Coach Don Helmick was happy about that, that grab out of mm -hmm. Emily's hands. <laughs> All right. 10 for Culver, getting over to 32, then over to 30. Ah, oh, that's... Those ladies need to talk more on the floor. Somebody should have let Deg know that she was running into a screen. All right, the shot was up and short. Culver with the rebound and puts it in for the two. Comments with the ball still against Culver's full, course, full court press. All right, hold across midcourt. Gets into the paint, kicks it over to Weezy. Weezy, who gets hatcheted. That should be sending her to the line for two. Foul was on number 51. And yes, Wheezy on the line for two. Shots up. And just off the front of the rim. See if she can make calculations, get the second shot in. It's up. It's good. There we go. That'll put the comments on the board at one. Right on in Culver's court. Heavy man-to-man -man play by the Comets. Looking to, uh, they're looking to make the Cavaliers make mistakes and they're looking pretty good for it. All right, that's uh, Ashlyn Klein with the rebound. Klein driving in to put it up for two. 
just off the mark, and Culver's number 51 with the rebound. Culver's number 32, passing it to 51, lobbing it over to 10, trying to find a quick opening. Tried to get into 32, Klein was in there to interrupt. The Comets will take the ball back. And Holt into Comets territory. Over to Degg. Degg to Klein on the three point arc. Over to Young. And back to Klein. Over to Degg and to Holt. Had a bit of an opening, she's gonna drive in a bit. Send it back out to Klein. I feel like she should have put that three up, but it's awful easy to call the plays from up here in the comfort of the press box. All right, Klein with a shot, it's off the mark. Holt's able to recover on that, drives base a little bit, gets it into Wheezy. Send it back Dante out. Young is gonna put it up just off the front of the rim. Holt almost with an over the back foul there as Culver's number 32 gets the rebound. Ball back in the Culver court. There it is, there it is. Looking for an opening to get it in. Taking the two, get on the rebound. Culver just can't seem to get it in. They're on the rebound again. And that looks like a foul against Allie Wheezy, her first. And that's going to put Culver's number 51 on the line for two. Shots up, and it's off the front of the rim. We got number 25, Brianna Hubenthal, checking in for Brianna Young, I think. Yep. Makes it easy for us, Brianna for Brianna. Shots <laughs> up, and the second shot was good. Comments back looking at a Culver full court press. Dag across the mid court. Up to. Ashlyn Klein. Trying to get to Wheezy. They're just a little bit too high. Ashlyn, Allie's tall. She's not quite that tall. <laughs> and back into Cavaliers territory. Hope they're sending it in. Back Send out to 10. I'm trying to drive, trying to just find their openings going around base. Up to 51, he's fairly open. Gets the bank for two. Hold over to Degg. Degg's in trouble. Help. Gets travel called on her. Ball in play. Lady Cavs back into Cavaliers territory. Into 51, back up to 30. Well, she had an open drive. She fumbled with her dribbling a little bit. She put up the pop jumper and Holt got the rebound. Holt not able to find an open lane in for her drive. Sends it to Klein, who sends it to Degg. Back to Klein, back to Holt, back up to Klein. Klein driving Fake in. Fake and a drive. And just off the mark. The Comets are getting open for their shots, just can't seem to make them here tonight. Yeah, so that far. looked like a foul on Allie Wheezy. That'll be her second, team second. Subcoming, who's got her? Subcoming, who's got her? Uh, number 15, Lane Oliver coming in for Allie Wheezy for the Comets. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how the Comets just went from one foul to four fouls, but. I think the officials are <laughs> discussing that. <laughs> officials questioning this as well. <laughs> Either a technical glitch or a little bit of favoritism on the part of the scoreboard operators. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure we're allowed to actually suggest such a thing. That, that Strike that from the record there, Dakota. I, I never said that. What'd you say? I didn't uh, hear you. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Ball in play. 30 with a drive. Kicks it over to 51. 
Misses a shot and falls out of bounds with it. Unfortunately, this is not football. That does not leave you with possession. Ball into Aubrey Degg. Scoreboard now corrected. Degg crossing the midline and over to Holt. <coughs> Double coverage on Holt there. She's going to dribble around, pass it to Brianna Hubenthal. Back over to Holt. Travel on Holt. And that is not no. going to help the Comets cause here. No, no. 45, roughly 45 seconds left in the first, and we found ourselves in uh, a four-point deficit. All right, ball back in Cavaliers territory. Over to number 10, who's going to dribble around, pass it to an open number 30 for a long, I believe that was a long two. And that's uh, out of bounds on the Cavaliers. Ball in play, 30 seconds remaining. Day across the midcourt. Day getting over to Holt. Cavaliers playing heavy defense as the Comets pass around. Brianna Humenthal with a shot, but I think that uh, I think her defender got a hand on that right at the pop-up. Culver with 12 seconds left in the first. Humenthal meeting her ball handler right at the half court line. Heard an uh, illegal screen on number 31. So that's a foul against Cavaliers number 31. It's her third, or not, excuse me, that's team third. <laughs> her first. The Holt losing the bit, control of the ball. Clock will zero out anyway. Well, well, quite a bit of action there in that first quarter. So exciting ball game. And we will be back here on RTC TV 4 after a word from our sponsor. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And we're back here on RTC TV 4. If you're just joining us, aside from a few technical glitches, you've missed uh, a lot of back and forth action on the court. Uh, it hasn't resulted in a high score, as you can see. Uh, Cavaliers 5, Comets 1. And uh, the players will be taking the hardwood again shortly after this uh, interperiod break. Teams heading back on the court. Hopefully Comets got a few strategies worked out. They seem to get where they needed to go, but their shots have just been off the mark so far tonight. So let's see if they can get anything going for them here in the second quarter. Well, ball into Emily Holt. So let's see what their strategy session yields. Back over to Hubenthal. Dribbles into double coverage, pops it over to Ashlyn Klein, who's gonna send it to the baseline to... Oliver. Ol yeah, Lane Oliver. Ends up back up to Holt, passes to Hubenthal. I don't know why Holt didn't take that shot. They both seem to have open shots for a split second there. And, and then and Oliver takes the shot under triple coverage from the baseline behind the backboard. I'm thinking she did, wasn't quite aware exactly where she was on the base there. That, that could well be. All right, Culver ball in. Crossed into Culver territory. Over to number 30. Passing it in, putting up for the easy two. 
Couldn't quite get it there. He draws the foul though and will go to the line for two. The foul was against Caston's number 21, Ashlyn Klein. Looks like her first team third. First shot's up, and it's on the mark. Second shot up, and it's off the mark. Caston with the rebound. Klein passing to Holtz back. Luckily, they weren't under full court press. Over to Huben, though. Back to Klein. Or Holt, Holt, thank you. Into Klein. Putting up for the two. No good. And Culver with the rebound. Can I just say, maybe I was, I was clairvoyant and I just missed one hop there. Right, right. Right. Number 10 on the arc with a travel. Going back to the Lady Comets. Thus far, it's looking like the second quarter's just more of what we saw in the first. Looks like a Eubenthal getting the ball over to Degg. Degg popping open for a long two. Just off the mark. Culver with the rebound. Crossing the Culver territory. Degg reaching in for the steal. Disrupts it, doesn't quite get it, and it's going to be out of bounds on Aubrey Degg. Good bit of hustle there, though. Yeah. All right, ball in bounds. Oh, that's going to be a foul, a blocking foul there on Aubrey. I believe that's her third, team fifth, or her first, team fifth. She's number three. Too many numbers. <laughs> All right, Culver ball in play. Out of bounds on Culver. Trying to pass it in. The mid couldn't quite get it there. Klein will be checking it back into Holt. We'll bring it around to the Comets side of the court. The Lady Comets are really playing fairly solid defense and they're getting good shots. We, they just need to make more of those shots as opposed to currently they've got a single free throw on the board. Right. All right. Holt. Holt over to Oliver who completely misses Ashley Klein. Had the right idea, just a bit too much power on that pass. Yep. That's Culver number 21 in for number 30. As they'll take possession of the ball. Across the midcourt into Culver territory. 32 for Culver, putting up an open three. Ball saved back into play by number 51. Culver's number on. 31 taking the shot, draws the foul from 15, Lane Oliver, her first, team fifth, and Culver's number 31 going to the line for two. First shot up, just off the back. All right, on the line for the second shot. It's up, just same thing off the back. Culver getting on the rebounds though. Not a foul on Culver's number 21. The Comet ball, Ashlyn checking it into Holt. Hold across the midcourt, looking to make a move. Tries to tried to dish it in, but ended up straight into the hands of Culver's number 51. Right, number 32 looking for a driver, an open teammate. Didn't get that. Instead hands it off to Caston. Almost a mirror image of what happened at Caston's end of the court. 
Holt over to Deg. Deg. Back, back to Holt. The Culver just getting aggressive and getting all up in Holt's business, knocking the ball out of her arms. Yeah, and off of Deg's toes, who re runs across and grabs it for a backcourt violation. Culver's ball. Arbor Day getting real aggressive on the defense. I think I actually heard somebody yelling about a screen. And jump ball. That'll be Culver's possession. Let's see, uh, first jump ball of the game since tip-off. She's open for the two. Off the mark and Holt with the rebound. Under the basket and jump ball. All right, we have Culver's number 30 coming in for 21. Ball inbound on the Caston side, just in and out of the basket on that. It looked like a long two. Number 32 with a drive. Missed that layup, and Culver gets the rebound. Culver looking for an open three. Off the mark, and Emily Holt with the rebound. Holt cross mid, driving in a bit, send it back out to Eubenthal. Up to Dag. Dag with a spin move. Unfortunately, I have to keep dribbling through those. And that's uh, Culver's number 44 in for their number 31. Lady Cavaliers across the midcourt now. Over to number 10, back up to 30, out to 32. It's gonna try to drive in on the baseline for a behind the backboard shot. Holt had a hold of the rebound a bit, but lost grip of it. Reds yeah. calling junk ball. Yeah, Klingler wrapped it up there with uh, Cavaliers number 10. And the ball's in play. Up to number 32, catches the pass at her toes and can't do anything with it before she has to dish it off. Back to an open 32 on the three-point line. Shot is short and out of bounds. Lady Comets gain possession. Ball in play to Emily Holt. Looks like Holt and Klein talking a little strategy as they dribble up to the half court line. Um, no. Oh, we had a, a Culver sub. So the Lady Comets will take it out of bounds at the half court line. Holt with the ball. Send it over to Hubenthal. Ooh, who trips. They call that a blocking foul. That was on uh, Culver's number 30. It's her first, team fifth. Deg sending the ball into Holt. Holt looking for an open teammate. Over to Hubenthal. Keeps control, gets it back over to Holt to drive in a little bit, put up for the two. Just off the rebound. With the rebound. Draws the foul, she'll go to the line for two. That foul was on uh, Culver's number 44, her first, team six. See if Jordan Klingler can get us some points. There's, there's one. Fortunately, the Lady Comets are playing good enough defense that uh, this shot could cut the lead by half. And, and it does. It does. Looks like we got a Comet timeout on the field. With that, we'll take a short break. Thank you. You are watching RTC TV4. We'll be right back. 
This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And as the teams take the hardwood, we're back. Ball in bounds. As Culver's number 30 brings it to the midcourt. Passing it over to the number 10, over to the third, uh, 51 to 31, back to 10. Trying to find an opening. They get to number 32. Looking for base, ends up driving it out. Well, they're calling that out on the comments, it looks like. Must have bounced off of. It's hard to see what's going on down there. Right. All right, shot up from the three-point line, and it was good. Stretching the Lady Cavs' lead. Looks like the Cavaliers are planning to start playing some more full-court press. Dag with the ball. Can't find anything. Sends it to Hubenthal. Loses control of it. Gives it back over to Culver. He's going to drive in, lay up, and it's off the mark. Jordan Klingler with the rebound, jump ball. And that'll be the Lady Comets possession. Klein into Holt. Oh, yeah. Over to Hubenthal, he's gonna send it to Klein for three, and it's good. Oh, long two. Feet were just a little bit on the inside. Regardless, that's uh, first score on the Comets board that's not from the free throw line. All right, Cavs over the top to 51 to 30. He's gonna pop it up for another three, and it's off the mark. Gonna get on that rebound, send it back out for a long, long two. Two, and it's off the mark. Kasson's Aubrey Dag trying desperately for that rebound. Just goes over her fingertips. Holtz gets this rebound, though. Brings it back into Comets court. Over to Hubenthal to put up for a three. It's like a shoving foul on number 40, 30, excuse me. Hubenthal go to the line for three. First shot's up. Off the front of the rim. Shots up. Off the rim, same as the last one. Third shot's up. It's off the mark as well. Cavs ball. I've got to say, that almost doesn't, it doesn't look like the same Brianna Hubenthal from the start of the season. Mm -mm. Uh, somewhere along the way, she, she's lost, she's lost some of the poise that she had. Holt with a steal. Holt looking to go all the way, I think knocked out by the Cavs. It was, that's going to be a Lady Comets ball. Who's taking it out of bounds? Hubenthal is taking it out of bounds. Up to Holt. In uh, Klingler, but defender gets around there. Cavaliers ball. 31 with the pop-up shot. It's no good. Klingler with the rebound. 58 seconds left in this half. Line getting over to Degg. 
Dag looking for some help. Over to Klein. Thought about popping it up. Into Klingler, who just can't quite keep a hold of it. Number 10 with a drive and a good lay-in to stretch that lead just a little bit more right before the half. The Holt looking to go all the way, gets into Klingler, put it up for two. She's on her own rebound. Got it. Lady Cavs looking to slow it down just a little bit as the clock winds down. 15 seconds in this half. Three, it's no good. Klein with the rebound, has 10 seconds to do something with it. Walks away from her own dribble. Needs to go up, needs to go up, ladies. It's up and it's off the mark as we go into halftime. Well, at the end of this half, we see the Lady Cavs with 11, the Lady Comets with seven. And we'll be back after a few messages from our sponsors and the duration of halftime. Thanks for joining us this evening on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And as the teams take the hardwood after the halftime break, welcome back here on RTC TV4 to tonight's matchup of, of the Lady Cavaliers against the Lady Comets. Play starting immediately with the Lady Cavaliers bringing it inbounds against an aggressive Comets defense. Comets getting a hold of the ball, getting over to Dag. She'll cross the midline for the Comets. Gonna swing back a little bit. Eubenthal putting up two. Off the mark, Holt with the rebound. Drawing a foul from uh, Lady Cavs number 30. That's her third. Team first here in the second. Well, second half. <laughs> Dag sending the ball over to Hubenthal. And then back to Dag. And over to Hubenthal trying to find an opening. She's going to lob it in to Klingler. Put it up for two. No good. And Cavaliers with the rebound. Ashlyn Klein got a hand on it and popped it out of bounds. Resulted in the same end result. Back in the Cavaliers court. Passed over to number 32. He's going to kick it out to 10. Over to 30. She's going to pop it up for a long two. No good. Arbor Degg with the rebound. Almost loses it to a reach in there by number 51. Over to Holt. Klein. Hubenthal. No shot. Back to Klein. Over to Dag. He's going to take the shot and off the mark. Sadly, that's been the story of this whole ball game. Back into Culver territory. Passing around. Number 10 with a drive. Nobody letting Dag know about the screen. Open shots. No good. Out of bound on the Cavaliers. Comets will retain possession. Culver's number 21 coming in for the number 10. And Holt with the ball. Crossing over mid. Passing over to Hubenthal. He's getting over to Klein. And for an opening, popping it up for the two. It's short. Hubenthal get the rebound and popping it up for two. 
Bit over, getting over to Dag. Just keeping it in bounds, losing it to Culver. And Culver will take the ball over to their side of the court. That pass was right on the line. Out of bounds off of, look like Ashlyn Klein's toes. Neubenthal getting a hold of the ball, going for the layup. Draws the foul on off of uh, number 21. 21 managed that foul though before Cubenthal could commit, so it's just gonna be a possession. It's uh, number 21 second, team second here in the half. Holt finding Klein, Klein going for the two. She gets it. Shot was good and she'll go to the, go to the line for an and one. That foul was on uh, Cavaliers number 31. That's her second, team third. Free throws up, and it's good, making that a three-point play, bringing the Comets within one. They can keep playing good defense and put a few more into the basket. We might see the Lady Comets with a victory. Holt with the steal, getting a mid-pass, going for the drive, up for the layup. It's no good, and Cavaliers with the rebound. Woo, number 31 throwing some wicked elbows. About takes Ashlyn Klein's head off. Brianna Huventhal fouling as she tries to reach in for a steal. That'll be her first, team first in the half. And a substitution for the Lady Cavs. Number 10 coming in for number 30. Ball in play. Over to number 10, who's gonna drive. Had a hard screen there set by number 51. There's a call on the play, and they're gonna call a foul on number 51 for that illegal screen. That's the second illegal screen we've seen this game, isn't it? Both by number 51? No, nope, that was number 51's first. Yeah, I can't remember the other, the other legal uh, screen. Re regardless, that's four fouls on the Cavs this half. Over to Holt. Holt to Hubenthal, no shots, gonna drive down to the baseline, back to Klein, who's gonna take that three, and that's on the mark. That puts the Comets in the lead for the first time this ball game. Solid, if the Comets can keep playing good defense, might have a secure lead here. Right, Cavaliers ball. Cavs looking to answer, another pick there on Aubrey Dag. Hubenthal getting the hand in there, knocking it out of bounds in that pass. Thank you. The Lady Comets can just keep disrupting. Not sure what Coach Homick said during the half, but it looks like it might be working. All right, number 10 with the drive. Over to number 21 to 32. No shot. Out to 10. 32 back with the ball. Going to try to drive in. Ashlyn Klein with a foul. Her second, team second. Ball in play for the Lady Cavs. Over to number 10. Looking for a drive. Over to an open 21 for a short jumper. Off the mark. Number 51 with the rebound. And in the process of trying to get the ball, we had a foul uh, on... 51. Cavaliers 51. Her second. Team fifth. The comments will have the ball. Klein giving it in to Holt across the midline with. Too much happened there too fast. I, and that's 51's third. Holt. Trying to get open. Gives it over to Dag. Then over to Hubenthal. Hubenthal to Klein. Klein. Open for two. Just off, hold on the rebound. She's still got it, putting it up. It's no good, and 51 for Culver with the rebound. Aggressively throwing elbows there under the basket too. Culver looking for an opening. 
up to 10, who's gonna go around the top of the arc. Over 32, inside to 51, back out to 30. And foul there on number three, Aubrey Degg. Her second, team third. Right, ball's in play. Down on the baseline to 51. Dag with another foul going after that ball. That's her third, team fourth. Oh, we're finding an opening at the top of the arc. Number 32, Holt oh. intercepting that pass. Number 10 gets it back though. Down to the post to number 51, who draws the foul on probably number 35, Jordan Klingler. Yes. Her first, team fifth, and 51 on the line for two. First shot's up, it's off the mark. Second shot up, it is on the mark. Klein getting in the hole, across the mid with it. The Comet's playing a bit quick, Huventhal putting up the two. It's long, Klingler with the rebound, it's long. Klein taking the shot, draws the foul. She's going to the line for two. Foul was on number 31, that'll be her third, team sixth. Next foul will put the comments into bonus points, or bonus shots. First shot's good. Got Valiers number 44 checking in for number 31. Klein lining up her second shot. It's up and it's also good. Awesome. Stretching the comments lead to three. Cavaliers Regain possession of the ball. Coming across the midcourt. Number 10 to number 32 is gonna look for a drive. Tries kicking at somebody who wasn't there. Hubenthal tried to get a hold of that. Just qu couldn't quite, so it goes out of bounds off of her hands. All right, balls into number 51, kicks it back out to 32. He's gonna shoot it, throw it clear across the court to 10. Degg with the rebound there. About take, outruns the ball though. She's gonna climb for three. Off the mark, and Cavaliers with the rebound. Culver looking for an opening. And at the, tar uh, at the top of the arc. Number 30. Can't do anything. Oh. You've been solid trying to get a hand in there. That'll be, it should be a shooting foul, yeah. That's number 30 to the line. That's Brianna Hubenthal's second, team six. First shot's up, and it's on the mark. Both teams really have to be cautious about sending anybody to the line with such a tight ball game here. Every point counts in a game like this. Second shot is good for Culver, making the point lead for the Comets only one. Emily Holt into Comets territory. Oh, travel, she seemed to slip up. On her yep. feet. <laughs> Into Cavaliers territory. They really got to watch those passes. 
Gonna go for two, couldn't get it. Klingler with the rebound over to Klein. 90 seconds remaining in this third period. Klein to Dag. Dag to Holt. Holt getting it back over to Klein. Looking for an opening, sends it over to Hubenthal. Back to Klein. And then going to drive in, give it to Hubenthal, trying to make some room. Over to Dag. Trying to get something moving. Dag sending it over to Klingler. Over to Holt. Nobody happy with the potential for a shot they're seeing. Klein up for two, she it's gets two. Good. 60 seconds of the third period here. Lady Cavs into their court. Open jumper from the free throw line, it's no good. 51 with the rebound, goes out of bounds off of Comets and Jordan Klingler. Cavaliers ball. Into 32 near the top of the arc. She's open for a shot, can't quite make it. Off the, off the mark, Klingler doesn't quite get that rebound. Goes over to Cavaliers and jump ball under the basket. Not sure whose possession that is. Ref is calling it Comet's possession. Both teams coming alive as the third quarter comes to a close. Holt, struggling to keep a hold of the ball, sends it out to Klein. I'm not sure how she kept a hold of that. Over to Huventhal, it's gonna take the three, it's off the mark. Klein on the rebound. Over to Holt. Holt looking to do something with it, goes out of bounds off of Cavaliers number 51. Nine and a half seconds here. Enough time for a, a score or a, a mistake resulting in a closed gap. All right, ball is in play to Hubenthal. Trying to get it to Holt. There was a foul there, I'm not sure. Foul was on uh, number 51, her fourth, team seventh. Holt's gonna go to the line. Number 51 officially in foul trouble. Number 31 for the Cavaliers checking in for number 51. Okay, hold on the line for one and one. First shot's up. She it's good, it. she'll get a second. Second shot's up. Off the mark. Cavaliers with the rebound. Four seconds to do something with it. With the drive. Fidget with it a bit. And went out of bounds right at the buzzer. Well, that's the third period in the bag. We'll be back here on RTC TV 4 in just a moment. Thanks for watching. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And we're back as the team's finish up talking strategy going into this fourth and final quarter of the ball game. Exciting third quarter. Uh, the Lady Comets appear to have finally woken up during halftime. Mm -hmm. Able to take the lead and also expand upon it having a four point lead as they sit at 18 to the Cavaliers 14. 
Cavaliers also have seven fouls on the board, giving uh, seven fouls on the board, giving Comets some bonus shots. They can keep drawing fouls. Comets not too far behind them with six fouls on the board, though. However, yep. And balls in play as we start the fourth quarter. Number 10 over to 31, who's going to pop it up to 44. She was fairly open, passes it to 10. Number 30 and Sending just it. about had a, a steal. No good. A 10 open on the line, a free th three point line. Shots no good. Aubrey Degg with the rebound. Bout trips <laughs> over her defender, sends it over to Holt, and gives it to Klein. Klein sent over to Hube. Klein will get a travel called on her, trying to send it over to Hubenthal. You know, once you plant one, or use one foot as the pivot, you can't then plant the other foot and pivot on it. Right. All right, the ball is in Cavaliers territory. Passing it around. Stiff defense by the Comets. Ball's up, it's no good. Culver on the rebound, trying to put it up. Gets it up for a two. Closing the Lady Comets lead to two. Playing a full court press. Holt with a drive. Trying to send it in to Klingler, couldn't quite get it. Ooh, Comets regained possession, out to Holt. Over to Dag, over to Klein. Klein sending it over to Hubenthal, he's gonna put it up for three. Off the mark, and Jordan Klingler with the rebound. Travel. Cavaliers number 51 back in for 44. 51's sitting in foul trouble though. Matter of fact, I think she got all four of her fouls last quarter. I think so. Ball back in Culver Court. Nice block there by Ashlyn Klein. Ball over, deflected over to Aubrey Dagg. Loses control of it though. Number 10, 10 driving open. In and off the mark. Holt getting a hold of it. I have, a, it. I have a sinking feeling for her that she will be doing some some uh, layup drills tomorrow at practice. I would imagine. Coaches don't don't appreciate a, a missed miss layup. Especially, All right. Especially on foul the open was she on was. Uh, foul was on Culver's number ten. It's going to send Emily Holt to the line. Looks like it's a single shot. It's up, off the mark, and Culver with the rebound. Number 30 trying to drive, dishes it over to number 10, who's into 51. Back to 10. And for an open drive. No good, and a bad pass. That's out of bounds on Culver. Casting ball. Smart play there by number 25, Brianna Hubenthal, not trying to get that ball. Mm -hmm. Just let it slide out. Yep. Take possession. And we've got a substitution there on Culver's side, 21 in for 10, as Degg takes the ball into Comets territory. Gives it over to Klein. Klein trying to get in. Shot was off the mark. Here Here she out of was bounds. Up. I'm not sure if she was going for a shot. She might have been looking for Klingler on the inside. Could be. A, it was rather low. If it was me and, you know, my shots usually look like that, I, I definitely would have called her to pass. Right. And balls out of bounds on the Lady Cavs side. Lady Comets reading possession. Line sending it over to Degg. Full court press. What do we have there? I think a foul on number 30. 30. Blocking foul. That's her fourth. Aubrey Degg will go to the line. And number 10 back in for number 30 as she sits in foul trouble as well. First shot's up, and it's in. Awesome. Expanding the Comets lead a little bit. Give them some breathing room. Yeah, 
Absolutely, because as it sits right now, one three-pointer will tie up this ball game. Second shot. It's, it's good. good. Colver now bringing the ball to their side of the court. Trying to figure if they can do something with it. Over to 21. Tries to kick it in. Klingler is able to get a hand to send that back out. Jump ball. And that's Comet's possession. Culver's full court screen. Holt passes it to an open human thaw. She's going to take a long two, and it's off the mark. I think Klein was able to get in on that rebound and save it from going out. She'll put it up for two. Also off the mark, Culver's rebound. Just under five minutes left in the game. Culver looking to get something going. We'll find some opening. Over to 31. I think. That's a foul there on Emily Holt. She had a hand on her defender. That's going to give Culver the bonus. Yep. Going to the number 21 there, going to the line for 1-1. One one. Which could easily cut Kasten's lead in half. Excuse me, I said 21, that's 31. First shot's off the mark. Out on Comets. Culver will, re will regain possession, excuse me. <laughs> yes, it's late. Our tongues no longer work, ladies and gentlemen. Ball in play. Number 10 at the top of the key, over 51, who's open for the bank shot. Cutting the Comets lead in half. Hold into Comets territory. Comets have to be able to hold them off for Four and a half more minutes. Eubenthal looking to try and set up for a two. Sends it out to Klein. A bit finicky with the ball. Giving it to Dag. Try and drive, send it out to Eubenthal. Popping up for a two. It's good. There we go. Now I have to say, Dakota, I don't know if anybody else noticed on that. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm glad that the refs were where they were because that was a double dribble. But we can talk about that after we get back from this break here on RTC TV4. As the ball comes back in play, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Ball crossing to Culver territory. Culver looking to try and get open. They're able to pop in a three. In and out, and Jordan Klingler with the rebound up to Brianna Hubenthal is going to drive. Draws the up. foul. I was uh, fairly confident that that was going to be a travel, but she'll go to the line for two. Yeah, that was a bit too close for comfort almost for a travel there. Yeah. No, Brianna Hubenthal was, is 0 for 2 from the line tonight, so let's see how she does. In and out, the first shot. Shots up. Off the mark. Number 31 for Culver with the rebound. Number 10 for Culver now with the ball on the outside of the arc looking for an opening. Looking Gonna to drive go. to the baseline, gets herself buried under coverage. Back up to number 51, 30. She's gonna try to drive. Didn't quite get anything, ref's calling jump ball. Giving it back to Culver. Aubrey Degg got that tied up. It was, it was a clean grab, but Ball handler got the uh, wrap up on it too. Ball in play. Over looking for an opening drive to throw it up for two. It's no good. Uh, 51 with the rebound there. Her put up is no good. Back up. Jeez. Jump ball, which should be Comet's ball. Culver on each and every one of those rebounds just couldn't quite to get it in. Number 44 subbing in for 51. 
as Comets take possession under the Culver basket. I'm getting over to Holt. Culver with his full court press. It's not been as effective this evening as what we've seen from other teams this season. Holt sending it over to Hubenthal. Trying to bring around with it. Trying to keep a hold of it, jump ball again. Which will be Culver possession. Smart use of a jump ball when you can't quite get a steal, but you can wrap it up. Culver setting screens, trying to get open. Didn't get anything Travel. going. Sending it right back over to the Comets. In the hole. Holt looking at a possibility of double coverage. Foul there on number 32. That'll send Emily Holt to the line for two. That's uh, number 32, second foul of the game. And I'm going to guess we're going to have a substitution after this shot. It seems like it. <laughs> First shot up. It's good. Stretching that lead to five. Number 51 coming in for 44 for the Cavs. There's that substitution. And number 21 coming in for 32. I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised we haven't seen any of the uh, com Lady Comets bench come in, but... It is that it is, as Emily Holt lines up for her second shot. Yeah, it's Long in. Mark. Now a three possession ball game. Well, I take that back. Two three pointers will do it. Number 10 for Culver, passing over to 51. Back up to 10, looking to get an opening. 21. Oh, I'm sorry. Not 31 to 21 to 10. And all over the Shots place. Shots up, it's off the mark. Klingler couldn't quite get the rebound. Shots up, off the mark. Holt with the rebound. Jump ball, Comets ball. Same result. Looked like earlier Klein might have been trying to draw a foul, but I don't think the refs caught on to it. She seemed to be all over who she was defending at the point. But either way, Comets possession, looking for an opening, gets it over to Hubenthal. Hubenthal is able to maintain control. Uh, Gets a double dribble called on her. There's that double dribble we didn't want to see <laughs> the first time. <laughs> Delayed call. <laughs> Substitution on the Cavaliers side. 32 in for 21. That was a nasty trip there that uh, Hubenthal took. She, her defender's feet got into hers. All right, number 30 trying to Find something to do with it. Draws the foul. That's going to send her to the line for two, I believe. Oh, one and one. One, one and one. one. And the foul was on Brianna Huventhal. Just over two minutes left in this ball game tonight. And it's absolutely still anybody's game. First shot's up. And it's off. Off the mark, Ashlyn Klein with the rebound. Send over to Holt. Across the mid. And she's looking to go a bit all the way. Jump ball. Bring it back to Culver. When that ball got tangled up, I figured it was a travel. It's the same end result either way. Ball's over to Culver's number 10. So into number 51, out to 31, trying to get open for a two. They get two. She gets that bank shot, closes the Comets lead to four with a minute 30 left. And that was, looks like a trip called on. Oh, no. They're calling a foul on Aubrey Degg. That's her fourth. She is now in foul trouble. Cavaliers 
And get into 51, put up for two, couldn't quite get it. Klingler with the rebound, but she throws it away. Twenty-five Brady Hubenthal just doesn't have eyes in the back of her head. She does, however, have a reach in foul. That'll send number thirty to the line for two. That is Brianna Hubenthal's fourth. First shot's up. And In and off. out. She'll get two, though, for they have the double bonus. Second shot's up. And it's in, making this a three-point game with just 78 seconds left. Off Bree Digg just losing a hold of the ball, sending it back over to Culver. Substitution for the Lady Cavs. 32 in for number 21 for the Cavs. Such a close ball game. This is gonna come down to the wire tonight. Over to 31, who's up to 51, 32. Gonna try to drive, kick it out to 10. It's just way outside. Maybe at the 32, trying to get over to 30, she loses it. It's gonna be out, sending right back to the Comets. The question becomes, can the Lady Comets get it down into their court with this full court press that the Cavs have brought out? Klein looking for an opening. She's no. gonna lob it. Over to Holt. Holt. Gets a hold of it. Holt's gonna try and send it into Klingler. No good there. Intercepted by Cavaliers number 51. Number 10 with the drive. It's off the mark. 51 with the rebound. 42 seconds left. The refs are calling the shot. Shot no good, going shot to one no for good. two. Foul was on number 35. First shot was good. Second shot's up. Yeah, it is off the mark. Off. Comets with the rebound. Absolutely what they needed. I didn't see what happened, but the ref is calling it Comets ball. I never say this, but the Lady Comets really need to play stall ball right now. Yeah, they do. It looks to be a timeout on the field, uh, court. <laughs> so with that, we're going to take a short break here, and I'm going to work on my... Uh, my words. So thank you for tuning in to RTC TV4. We'll be right back. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Well, as the teams finish up talking strategy, we're back with 34.1 seconds remaining on the clock. Uh, as you guys can see, if you're joining us from home, it is a two-point game. Uh, the third quarter, the comments, the Lady Comets really came alive. 
And then here in this fourth quarter, it has just been back and forth. Both teams basically standing their ground and slugging it out. If you look at the foul count, nearly literally. <laughs> About the same there. Thomas just need to hold on to it for a little bit longer. 30 seconds, but the Lady Cavs could easily tie this up or take the lead. That's a foul there on number 21. Uh, for the Cavs, so number 21 for the Comets, Ashlyn Klein will take the line, potentially stretch this out to more than a single possession game. See what she can do. First shot's up. It's, it's in. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, Klein is 100% from the line tonight. I think so. I think you're right on that one. Second shot's good, too. Despite some very unsportsmanlike conduct from the Cavs fan section. All right, 30 seconds, Cavaliers possession. The one it's going in. up. It's off the mark. They're Comets getting a hold get of it. Rebound. McLean over to Hubenthal. I hear the coaches screaming, hold it. We got a foul there on number 30. It's going to send Brianna Hubenthal to the line for two. And we have a Cavalier substitution uh, as number 30 fouls out. Number 21 for the Cavs will check in for the last 16 seconds of the game. <clears throat> First shot's up. And it's That's in. good. I think that might be Hubenthal's first make of the night on from the free throw line. Or did she make her second shot last time? I can't, I don't think so. I can't remember for sure though. Second shot's up. Yeah, it's she's, good too. She's making them when it counts. That's all right. It looks yeah. like we got another timeout called on the field. So with that, we'll take another small break here. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV4. We'll be back in a moment, but Dakota, it's still not a field. And we're back as that full timeout comes to a close and the Lady Cavs retake possession. Have sent in to 10. Comets rushing back to their side of the court. 12 seconds on the clock. 10 looking to get something going. Sent over to 32. I think it's out. Out of bounds. That's Comets' ball as uh, Coach Don Helmick gets very excited on the sideline. The Holt's got it. She's going to kind of hang on to it. Let time drizzle Dwindle out. Down. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comets clinch this one with a 28-22 victory over the Lady Cavaliers. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Blair Zimmerman. I've been joined to this evening by Dakota Hayden. Well, thank you all for tuning in and watching on RTC TV, TV4. Have a good night. Don't forget to join us tomorrow night for our live coverage of the Caston Boys at home versus the Cavalier Boys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.